Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanna to share with you a purchase that I made from AliExpress.com a little while back, not too long ago. I wanted to do this video sooner. This is basically a little bit of a winter related haul of some items, some clothing items, some hair accessories, as well as some other just general accessories. And I really, really love a few of these purchases, so I really wanted to share it with you guys as soon as I could. If you don't know about AliExpress, it's a website based out of China. The manufacturers are basically selling their items on the website. It's almost like an Amazon of some kind, I guess you could say, for China. And when you purchase on there, the good thing is the companies have reviews and ratings for the company themselves, for the sales and everything. And then they also have individual item ratings, just like you would have on Amazon. And people who do reviews can also upload images, and that's extremely helpful when you're trying to get more information before deciding to purchase something. This was the first time I purchased something where I spent a significant amount of money. I like AliExpress because I've actually had really good experiences in my purchases. I've seen a lot of videos about people purchasing from Wish, the Wish app, where they have this expectation picture versus reality where the item ends up being nothing like what it's described as and it's terrible and I'm really really fortunate that I haven't had that happen too much with um, AliExpress. I've had it so very little. This recent purchase that I'm going to share with you the only area where I had something somewhat like that was in some t-shirts that I bought and they were so incredibly cheap like a few dollars a shirt so in the future, I'm just going to be more careful with uh, looking at the images and stuff because I probably could have picked some things out. I probably would have seen what I was getting a little bit clearer if I was looking a little closer, but I really didn't care because it was just a few dollars. But anyway, we're going to get into that because I'm going to show you everything and I'm going to start out by showing you the shirts that I got and putting them on and showing you basically. So let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm wearing the first item that I've purchased and I really, really like this. Some people might consider it a sweater or it's just a long sleeve shirt. It's extremely, extremely soft and comfortable. And as you can see, there are these button details here and there's also buttons right here along the wrist area. And I just think it's really cute, very comfy, cozy. Some people uh, might not want this light of a color. It's not very forgiving with showing off the figure I guess you could say so I mean I don't usually wear stuff like this but it is nice to have a couple of things that are cute and kind of fitted so this shirt like I said the quality is really good there's sometimes issues with the sewing from items that are made uh, in China and I'm not sure if that's an issue here but like where the seam ends right here it's it looks like it could have been finished off a little more cleanly and for those who know how to sew, it would be a good idea to just go over that area if you want the shirt to last a long time and I might do that. But uh, other than that, I really like this shirt. I bought, I bought it in black as well and a lot of people, I mean, might prefer it in black. So the thing is with this shirt is that it's a free size, which is it takes the guesswork out if you just take a chance on it and buy it. I mean, it's not as complicated trying to figure out the sizing. That's the one thing you need to be careful with with AliExpress items. Be really careful with the sizing and uh, read other reviews as well as checking the size chart and measuring yourself basically. Now, the next shirt I want to share with you guys, I'll share the t-shirts that I bought. And these are the ones that I had... A bit of a I don't want to say an issue just I didn't understand the weird fabric that I was getting here's the first one I thought the actual design was cute and ideal for where I live I love the pine trees it looks like my backyard I'm gonna try this on for you guys and please forgive me but I'm gonna leave this this shirt on underneath it and the reason is because it's uh 48 degrees in here I'm trying to warm up the room but it takes a while and we're having this huge snowstorm so I'm really cold okay so here's the shirt and I'm okay it looks terrible with my shirt under it but 
I mean, that's all it is. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, it's just a t-shirt. The I wish I could describe this material properly. I would just say it's polyester. It's just a really strange texture. It's not like a normal cotton material at all, and I kind of wish it was. Uh, I'm going to put on the next one for you guys. This is Christmas related and crazy cat lady related and I just thought it was so cute and I knew my son would think I was crazy for getting this shirt so I just had to do it. So here it is. So the other issue with this type of material and everything is that these shirts are a little bit see-through so I would for sure wear a tank top underneath it. I already am in this habit of wearing a tank top under everything anyway. So the next thing I want to share with you guys, you may have seen, some of you have seen in another video, uh, I have, uh, I was wearing a big green jacket and I said in the other video, you know, I don't care if it gets dirty. It's super long. That's why I find this jacket to be really different from stuff that I've seen around here. I want it to be warm this winter. I live in a really cold environment and I love how long this is. I think it looks a little bit funny, to be honest, but I just don't care. I don't care how I look. It's cold out and I'm trying to stay warm, so I don't know, and it's kind of cute. Okay, guys, I'm trying really hard so that you can see the whole thing, and I'm sorry if you can't see it all in the shot, but the one thing, in the last video, I didn't have the fur attached, so I attached this. Also, if you want it more fitted, there's this, uh, what is this, little belt thing in here. So you just tie it. The pockets, I really like this. Okay, the other thing to note about this jacket is that you can wear it two ways. I think it's cool that you can wear it either way. So this jacket was only like 20 something dollars. I think it might've been 25. The only gripe I have about it, two gripes, is that the zipper tends to open up on its own because you can use it either direction. Oops. The, oh yeah, my other gripe is that right here there's a seam and it started coming undone. So I had to hand sew it to fix it, but now it's fine. And this jacket is really warm. Like I said, it, it goes past my knees. So it only leaves like this much space between showing my, um, my jeans between my, what am I saying? It goes very far past my knees to the point where there's only like this much of my legs showing before you hit the boots. So, cause I have to wear big boots out here. So I'm very, very happy with this purchase because this is a jacket that I like to wear outside when I'm doing work. And like I said in my other video, I don't really care if it gets dirty. Uh, and my other purchase, my other jacket I got from AliExpress, I also love, but I prefer to wear it when I'm going out places and I need to stay really warm. But I'm more concerned about getting that one dirty because it's such perfection. You'll see. <laughs> you might not agree, but I've, I want to show you. This is the other jacket. And I've had my eye on this jacket for, I would say, uh, a couple of years on AliExpress. I've just seen these images of people wearing it and it looks so, so cute. Okay. So you can wear it multiple ways. I could leave it like this or all the way like that. It has like extremely deep pockets from here down here. Yeah, all the way to here. So this jacket, it goes, it's not as long as the green one. It basically goes to my knees or like an inch above my knees and I'm short, I'm only 5'2". But this jacket, it fits quite perfectly. I feel like it's a little, it's loose around here. It gives you some space in your stomach area if you need that space. But other than that, like it fits perfectly. So 
So I'm really, really impressed. Let's just say with the craftsmanship, with the sewing, with every detail, they paid attention to every single important little detail. And the coat was $50 and it was worth every dollar and every penny. I love this jacket. Um, I feel like it could be more fitted, like it could be really cute if it was cinched in or fitted in some way, but hey, it's still beautiful. It's a gorgeous jacket. Like I said, the inside of these large pockets right here feel so incredibly soft, so cozy. Like I love putting my hands in these pockets. It's a very, very nice jacket. I'm really happy with this purchase. Now, I wanna share with you guys the accessories that I've purchased as well. And so here's one thing I bought. This was for my son. I actually forgot I even bought this, so he hasn't used it yet. This is for when he's outside because our weather is so, so darn cold and snowy and stormy right now. So this basically is gonna cover his whole face. I think it's called a bak baklava, I always say it wrong. Baklava, baklava. Okay, I don't know how to say it. Baklava, there you go. The next purchase is a hat that has this detailing on it. And this was very, very cheap, this hat. And I think they even said it was like a chemo hat, but regardless, anybody can wear it. So I'm gonna put this on and show it to you guys. I like the style in a way. I don't know how much I like it, but it does, oh, it feels very soft, like velvety. It reminds me of some vintage hats that I own and or one in particular that's very, very old from, was it from the 50s or 60s? And I wish I had it right here, it's in my closet. Um, should have brought it with me because I could have showed you. Basically the style is similar, even the texture of this velvety material is very similar. And I think this is cute. Um, will I wear it? Sure, why not? <laughs> I'm not that picky, let me see. Yeah, I think maybe I would have liked a uh, darker color material. Oh, it looks really interesting how it's showing up on camera with the lights in here. There's something else that I bought here. This is an accessory. I have not even opened it yet. So this is for when you're driving to basically keep your arms protected from the sun. And it's like tights for your arm arms. I used to see people in Thailand wearing these all the time. So smells a little bit, but yeah, I'll definitely, I think I'll wear these in my car in, um, I don't know when, in the summer or whenever I'm getting too much sun on my arms and hands. So I'll have to put this in the center area of my car so I don't forget. Hopefully I won't forget it's there. Now, okay, the next items here are hair related and I've seen these before. I've seen YouTubers, oh goodness, I hope you can see this. I've seen YouTubers who have curly hair who rave about uh, this type of item to wear at night when you're going to sleep. So, okay, my hair has been really wanting to be curly lately. It's gotten really kinky and curly, but I just lately have been blow drying it straight. I'm gonna try to leave it natural or whatever more often. But I have used this and I let, uh, I put my hair up in this when it was pretty damp before going to bed. It looks crazy because I have hair clips in here, so please ignore that. I've also used this as a shower cap. This other one I think is so cute. Okay, so I've used this before with my curly hair where I've gone to bed and my hair is still damp and I put it up in this thing. And when I wake up, the curls are pretty scrunched up and not as elongated, which is similar to that one. So this is how you wear this thing. It was kind of confusing at first. So it looks like this. This one in particular, the quality is really, really good. And this is really cute and silky. The only reason I can even do this right now is because I put my hair up in clips. It is really hard to do this if you have a lot of hair and your hair is, you're just trying to shove your hair into it. So you do that and then Go like this. Do 
super cute and vintage. See? I love it. You can also do wear one of these if you're like doing, I don't know, uh, micro needling or some type of face peel. And these sometimes annoy me, so I will sometimes tuck them under this, like that. But I think um, this is really cute. This was totally worth it. It was a few dollars, I think. I like this a lot more than this black one. I like, I really love this one. The only issue is that it kind of falls off easily because it's so silky. So one thing that I've purchased before more regularly than anything else, like I stopped buying socks from Walmart and other local stores because I started buying them on AliExpress and you can get the cutest. I don't know why I care this much about socks, but they're so cute that I just can't help it. So I've purchased numerous socks. I didn't open them yet. This one is so adorable with this, this little detailing here. I have this pair and I have the same one in green and this one is shorter. So I also bought, oh, and this one is just like the other ones, but this ugly mustard color that I felt I needed. Now I wanna show you, I also bought this little purse. Okay, and it has the, a little deer on here, little deer detailing, which is very cute. And I didn't expect extremely high quality or anything, and it's not, but it's not bad. It's not like poor quality either, surprisingly. And I fit multiple items in here that I was bringing with me today, like my phone and a big huge brush and some hair items and stuff. And then it just zips up here. This was very cheap. I think it might've been like $5. Here's the bottom. Uh, I think it was a nice little deal. And I almost forgot. So the last two items here are in the purse. And actually one of the items I'm wearing. And this is basically a layered necklace that I bought on AliExpress. Now the quality of the jewelry you buy on there, it really varies. So I've seen a lot of interesting things with jewelry on AliExpress. Some of it's really unique and really cute. Some of it's good quality, some of it's not, and it tarnishes, unfortunately, but it's just really hit or miss, but it's really cheap. I've seen some things on AliExpress. One thing in particular, I remember seeing this one necklace. It was 80 cents, and I think I may have bought one for my niece because she liked it. And then later on, I saw on Amazon that it was being sold for like $18. Now that's... That's pretty crazy, but that's how it goes with business. So I'm trying to find the other necklace here. Okay, so I bought this other necklace. This isn't, oh boy, it's all tangled with my other necklace. I might not be able to show you guys. It's another like multi-layered necklace. Oh, let me see, I almost got it. And you can be the judge if you think it's cute or not. Everything took between two weeks to a month to arrive. So you have to keep that in mind. And that's why I was planning on doing this video way sooner because I thought I was gonna have like a full out winter haul to show. And then if anybody needed any of these items or wanted any of these items before winter and the holidays, it could be better timing. So I'm sorry for not posting it sooner. I can't, okay, there, I got it off. So like I said, this one was like a dollar. It's cute, it's not my favorite, but it's okay. Now, let's see if I've untangled this. So like I said, this is another multi-layered necklace. I think I got it. Okay, there it is. And so that is my last purchase I wanted to share with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. Thanks again. Take care.